sour patch watermelon work. So apparently they felt like gummy to marshmallow was a good trajectory for them. <laughs> and welcome back to What's in Store. I have two guests with me today. Look at you, it's a little sandy. You can tell Lisa really wants to be here. <laughs> Lisa does want to be here. Like literally before the camera started rolling, let it be known that she was like loving life, enjoying I life. I thought you were going to be like laughing, giggle. I'm like, she hey. chortled. I'm she pretty did sure just I was sitting here on my phone. Excuse me? Do you know what a chortle is? I'm not familiar with that term. A chortle is more of a like, <laughs> You released a few of those today already. I was laughing at Wendy's. I wasn't laughing at you. I don't care. The point is, you were chortling. You, you laughed chortling. at our vicinity. You chortled at our vicinity. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I don't think you can see it on camera, but there really is just smoke wafting. Yeah, it's right. actually kind of beautiful. It's kind of cool. Anyway, ready? Okay. If chortling you, again. Do you hear that chortle? If you haven't been here before, I'm Lily, <laughs> this is Jocelyn, and this is Lisa. I prefer who a kettle. <laughs> loves her life right now. Hey. Per Lisa's request, Ooh. we are doing a marshmallow episode. Wait, so how did I get invited? You guys just want to hang out with me? Did Lisa put in a request for me? <laughs> Definitely that. No, I, I don't remember. There was a reason. I'm glad to be here nonetheless. I don't know, somehow you ended up here. I'm glad to be here. And Lisa tried to backtrack, excuse, and go, I didn't think I requested it. <laughs> Bitch, I edit all the videos. It's I the remember. Clip here. Should we do a marshmallow episode? That doesn't count peeps. There's gotta be other kinds of marshmallows. I mean, I love marshmallows, so sure. I don't watch the videos. <laughs> Well, Were you, you there it. when we filmed it? So um, this was your request, and every time I would go to buy other stuff, I kept noticing that they had a lot of marshmallows. Shall we just begin? This isn't gonna fit the format, but I don't care. Who cares? It's flexible. It was in the store. Also, um, like we're flanked by marshmallows on every night. We are. You have to make a s'more, and a graham cracker is savory. It all fits. A graham cracker is savory. Mm -hmm. And salty, and so it works. Honestly, okay, if you what have some salt, are you I would ask the I'm trying to bend the rule. Anyway, some of these we're going to need a vehicle for. So I have made us each a cup of my perhaps, signature hot chocolate. Say, infamous? It's kind of infamous. Uh, this is probably a thousand calories in a cup. Um, <laughs> congratulations. Cheers. Listen, so I can't eat anything else. So <laughs> over the last few you years, Lily told me she credits this with keeping her alive. Rich in nutrients. I feel like it has given me sustenance. It's your life's some blood. Of my dark Days. It's your life's blood. We need spoons. Can you just tell people what this recipe is? The recipe is basically that I fill it like halfway with sweetened condensed milk, which if you look at the can, it says that the serving size, there's like 10 in that small can. And I'm using almost an entire one. You use as much of the whole can as possible. No, a good half. Okay, um, whatever. You should check yourself for time. This is a lot of sugar. But you cut it with some water. So yeah, a little under halfway. With sweetened condensed milk and then the rest up with water and then you heat it up. Oh, you don't use milk and condensed milk? No, that's just- Oh, I did that. It's condensed milk, so you're uncondensing it. So. Oh, that makes so much sense. What kind of hot chocolate mix do you prefer? Nestle? This is my- Every time. This is my go-to, and honestly, mm -hmm. this is probably made up and not real, but I think that if you get like the full large canister, mm -hmm. it tastes better than if it's in the packets. That's you, a very specific no. Have, have you watched the show on the History Channel called The Food That Built America? Unfortunately, no. It no. It's about like the history of food, and they talk about Nestle a little bit because he inspires Hershey's. And then Hershey's Because this is in Europe, oh, but he's inspired because they're the main provider of chocolate, but they're in Europe, so he wants to be it in America, so he tries to figure out oh, this is some drama. But it's, it's very dramatic with how all of these foods came to be. And then I would say two and a half heaping spoonfuls <laughs> of that. Okay, great. So again, probably around like a thousand calories. Which marshmallow should we start with? Why don't we try this old beauty blender? Does okay. this not look like an old? It really does. It's it a little right? oven on the top. Okay. What is this? So I've had regular. these. I bought these because they've had these for a long time. Center is like a little too hard for the outside. Well, we don't. But know I just that ate we them by themselves. Yeah. Curious though if these will taste better than those ones. It says that it's more than your average marshmallow, and that you can roast it, toast it, bake it, melt it, or snack it. Yeah, okay. I tried, I tried I, to snack it. Wasn't as impressed. Okay. Ooh. 
No, I can feel that they're. It's like squishy. They're, they're stuck together. Oh, they're all, I don't want to rip it. It's all like one it's like huge one. marshmallow. It just looks very much like a normal marshmallow. It smells like a normal marshmallow. Yeah, but you can feel. There's something hard inside. inside. There's something inside. So it's like an actual hard piece of chocolate. What the problem was Ripper when I open. tried to do it was inside. that the chocolate doesn't melt as fast as your marshmallow melts. Oh. But I guess if you like two different this things, you kind of get both. That's how well, big the nugget is. No, there's more. There's more. There's another half in here. Where's your lighter? You have a lighter. Yelling. Sorry. In your face. I'm gonna try to like set this puppy kind of on fire a little bit. Be careful, my smoke alarm is. Oh, okay. oh you don't have a long handled one? You're not I, gonna, you're not gonna, gonna get so it melted on the sizzle. inside. Woo! Look at that. Yeah, but that's not even touching the inside. No, like, that's awesome. Awesome. At least I go through yours in the microwave for like, honestly, a short amount of time. Should I like cut this open? It, Cause it's very hard. I'm just gonna like release a little bit of the chocolate right here and try to like see what happens there with that. I'm gonna take a bite while it's still kind of soft. I mean, it tastes good, but it didn't really do anything. I think you would need a real legit fire for it to be hotter in general. Well, yeah, because you're just toasting the outside. Okay, we're trying the inside now. Okay. okay, so the chocolate did get a little softer. When I lit it on fire. That's good. Oh, Lisa, show us what you've got on that plate. <laughs> show us what you made. This is 15 seconds in the microwave. It you're looks right. like an egg, it, like a soft boiled egg. Hi. He's very uh, intrigued. Hi, sir. Yucky. Ooh, I'm excited about this. this. It looks like a chocolate filled burrata cheese. <laughs> it does. Yes. Which Jocelyn was on a burrata kick for a long time. You but do see, love a good burrata. I do. It's like, this is like perfect. And the inside's still like- Try it though, take a bite. Yeah, mine, right. Mine's still um, bathing in the hot chocolate, so. Oh, but that cheese pull moment, that mollo pull, it looks like you're eating noodles. My problem with, I don't usually do marshmallows in my hot chocolate. Okay. I do whipped cream. Especially the big ones. How do you, do I just like- huh? Yeah, take a bite. <laughs> it's supposed to disintegrate, right? Well, I never use big ones like that. I use no. always the little one. That's a little much. The use I for this is for s'mores. Heat it up more. Yeah. Still. I think it is because actually it looks crumbly, but it actually is pretty solid soft No, it melts pretty well. Oh, but Lisa you should take a piece of this and do a little dipper I don't like graham crackers. Oh, or I was just gonna like make s'mores with it. That's a great idea yep. You have so many more that middle though. heat at all though. Is it's still pretty. It was still pretty cold, but this yeah. is pretty lukewarm What do you bake, bake it in? in? You could mix Ooh, it into brownies. Crescent rolls. Oh, oh. Lily <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have any of Wow, I don't or think biscuits, both of you have ever agreed or with biscuits, me that quickly. Or pretzel dough. Biscuits. With salt? Like, yeah, who? Have, maybe right. we invented something. A marshmallow biscuit? I don't know. Or like inside, like they're too big. If they were smaller, or you I could guess- You put a whole just, cookie around like a I cookie ball. I was just gonna say that. Twin minds, mm -hmm. twin minds. Anyway, let's go to the next one, okay. which is a limited edition, and it was a holiday one, I think, but um, they still had it at Walmart. Peppermint bark. Ooh, and so that's inside, we're assuming, right? It's just flavored peppermint. Or is it just flavored peppermint Well, it's bark. chocolate, and then there's probably a peppermint inside. These are stuffed also, right? There's a ball of some sort oh, in here. Oh, yeah. Cocoa peppermint flavor with in here. I just, I just tore it open, see what it looks like inside. Oh, oh. It doesn't look good on the inside. Taste it, take a bite. The inside tastes like minty. It actually tastes really good. I feel like it'd be good in hot chocolate. Yeah. Oh, it says cut them in half in the microwave first. Why? That's so fun. Then the middle just oozes out. No, I like it in the middle. When oh, you wait, this is saying that you can make hot chocolate with just these. these. Because it has the hot chocolate coating. That's interesting. I don't know if I trust that. I have was thinking flavor. that too, but um, right, I'm gonna the, put the it in here and then heat it up more. And I'm just gonna drop mine you you into my hot chocolate. I do like a good like Andy's mint flavored chocolate. I think it's like one of the more refreshing, like healthy vibes that chocolate can have. Kind is of melting a little bit. Yeah, it's good. But let's see if it's giving this hot chocolate a flavor. Oh my gosh, this hot chocolate is like <laughs> amazing. It's a lot. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I can feel it in my brain. I feel like Jocelyn doesn't here. really like eat sugar, so this is probably. Well, that like... is like, I can feel it in my eyeball. <laughs> Holy cow. And I put it in too long. Did you explode it? Ooh, this actually, you know what? If you had a high end restaurant and you like drizz some chocolate around this, you could like serve this as like a deconstructed s'more. And you could charge like a hundred bucks for this. Where's that spoon? My little chortler wants spoon now. Of course, it's so creepy. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Shut up, foam. With hot cocoa foam. This is literally a hundred dollar <laughs> dessert. Call me Gordon Ramsay. Ooh, I'm excited to see what it looks like when you like open it up. Oh, wow. It like engorged. <laughs> It's <laughs> a horrible yeah, word. Interesting choice of words. Engorge is such a weird word. <laughs> it's huge. Or flattened. Oh bit. my gosh, it looks really weird. It looks it like salad like on camera, but the spoon is really small. Hot chocolate, though, tastes any hint of the peppermint. I doubt it yet, but it looks like no, it's gonna we'll explode. See. Ooh, there it comes. Ooh. It feels like pimple popper vibes. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm eating like snot now. <gasps> it does look a little gross. Lisa, show us what's going on here. Put it on a piece of graham cracker so you can taste yeah. the graham cracker vibe. Why would we make us more if you not, if 
Why we make s'mores? Why we make s'mores? You know, eat s'mores. Okay, Lisa, walk us through. <laughs> you take the mallow and you put the chocolate on the ground. Chortler. Tastes like more of them peppermint candies. But with chocolate and graham cracker. I don't taste the chocolate as much. Oh, interesting. So well, it's mainly peppermint. What are you thinking? What else do I eat peppermint with? Did it taste familiar? It does. It does taste like something. I like Andy's mints. Like that's what I would think of. Oh my gosh, some of this is really freaking me out. It looks like snot. No, it tastes like an Andy's mint. I feel like there's like a lot of reptile vibes with this. <laughs> like a lot of like reptile. What? Oh my gosh, you guys. I have a question. I want to invite you to something. I've been wanting to go to this for probably five years. I feel like you could meet guys there. Reptile Super Show. It's a three day convention in LA. Reptiles from all over the world. I, Lots of hotties. We'll revisit sticky. that. We'll revisit that Yeah, we'll talk about that later. If you let this fully melt, you could absolutely tell people that this is like thin mint hot chocolate. Great idea. Uh, yeah. York peppermint patty. That was the, the candy, which I don't understand why people buy. No offense to the York community. Dog commercials were so good back in the day. Is this the last of the stuff? So this is a cookies and cream. Oh, okay. So it's like just like making a, like Rice Krispie treats with them. It says, Using a piece of wax paper, press some sort of mix that you make out of this, and then put cookie crumbles on top. No, that's a Rice Krispie treat recipe. Oh, it is? <laughs> just so. Oh, cool. Is this one we just take a bite of, you think? I am. Oh. Well, and I'm curious, like, how, what's out. the cookie? Like, is it an actual, like, cookies don't melt? No, it's gonna be like every other cookie. It's just crumbled up, probably. Cookies and cream is Oreo, Crumbs, right? Yeah. So it's cheers, feels you guys. so hard, though. Cheers. They all feel hard before you. <laughs> I'm so she said. Yeah. What it looks like inside. It's just like cream with crushed up Oreo. It's not something I like to eat. Very creamy. Yeah. No, these I think you have to just heat all these up. Kind of like for making other. This tastes like perfume or a candle. It tastes like a candle. I like the texture. This would probably be better melted. Interesting. So far, you guys, which of the three is your favorite? This peppermint? I actually <laughs> think the peppermint too. Oh my god. So weird. I didn't realize you could meet so many marshmallows you didn't really like. Oh. I mean, you had peeps. No, I don't. I don't. I don't invest. In my peeps don't feel no. like. I don't think of peeps as marshmallows. I don't either. Shall we move on to party time? So these are the standard, like, Old Faithful brand Jet Puff. There are more flavors than this, but these seem like the best options. Great. There's a s'mores one and a birthday cake one. Great, 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 great. Birthday cake one? Yeah, because it looks like confetti almost. Ooh, oh. wait, so these are covered in chocolate? Oh, it's, it's strange. Just gonna, it looks like it would be a cake. It's White gonna chocolate. be a lot of sweetness. And crunchiness. Interesting. But this is something you could put in ice cream, like as an ice cream chopper. <gasps> it's weird because biting into it, a texture immediately reminded me of those pink and white sprinkle cookies, the circus cookies. Oh my gosh, yes! The thing is like, it's hard because birthday cake anything is so overpowering that the marshmallow doesn't taste like anything. Thing. It's just a texture thing. I'm genuinely curious, like what, as they were like designing this food, what did they think the use for it was? Because they're pretty small. Do you put these in cocoa? I think it's they're just like you snackable eat. ones. Interesting. Is there a market for this besides the show? I'm curious. Kids, you know what? You're right. Fun. You're right, Lisa. Because when we did family photos, the photographer specializes in children, small children, was conning the kids with marshmallows, the tiny marshmallows. Mm. She's like, if you do a good job. Between that and her screaming diarrhea every time she took a photo, genius move. The kids were it's laughing the, the entire time. That's too sweet for me. It's which is saying a lot. Uh, the thing is, is it's good. It's not like, oh, I'm going to throw up afterwards. But it's, it's a lot. Absolutely not something I would just be like snacking for on. For me, the marshmallow, I like the taste of marshmallow or whatever. It's just. That's not like a marshmallow. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling. We might need a palate cleanser at some point. Should we try this flavor? What's this one? S'mores. S'mores. They do look like um, bonbons. A lot of chocolate dust on these. Oh, this would be so disgusting. It's not chocolate it, dust. It, that's graham cracker even... dust. Oh, it's a s'more. Oh, I thought it was just like old chocolate. No, and they kind of, I feel like they like <laughs> jip you out of it. Like that's not much. But see, for me, I don't like graham crackers as much. It's my least so favorite part of the ratio. s'more. Okay, well, so, yeah. cheers, y'all. I prefer less chocolate. But you don't like chocolate in general. I know. I prefer not eating this. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I like this one better than that one. I don't taste the marshmallow at all though. Well, okay, here's the thing. Our marshmallow is just sugar. Yeah, I think it's like powdered sugar and water or something like that. So it just feels like, especially when you have like something like overwhelming like chocolate yeah. around it. It adopts the flavor of the chocolate. It's it just those, adds more sugar. It's like, you know, when like some of your friends like start dating a guy and then suddenly they're like into whatever that guy likes. That is what this is. That's really toxic. <laughs> no, it's not bad, but um, 
if I like chocolate, I think I would like it more. Yeah, I, like I feel like the, really the last two that we have over here are the weirdest. I think we're gonna like the best. Um, actually, I think you're wrong. But also, there's a third. Oh, there's the surprise. surprise. Milo? Yes. Let's try what's next, Lil. Where are you taking us on this journey? Um, wait, before we go there, can I just have a request for this yes. video? Can you like put the Sandlot clip in here? About yeah. how to make a s'more. <laughs> if you watched the last episode we did about marshmallows, you would notice that I already did. Oh, burn. Do you see she's almost nearly chortling again? I'm gonna be on chortle patrol with you all the time. Sounds like, like a What the Pokemon. fuck is that word? It's, an, it's, it's a only very, a type of Pokemon. Yeah. Are you like 80 years old? Turning 77 in just a few months. 76, Lisa, don't be wrong. No. Kelly's um, got something hidden behind her back right now. I would just like to first say this is a travesty and abomination to marshmallows, whoever did this. You suck. Oh, interesting. Okay. I was just so confused when I saw them. The Sour Patch Watermelon Marshmallow. So apparently they felt like gummy to marshmallow was a good trajectory for them. I mean, but I guess it's basically the same thing, just with added gelatin, Here's the right? thing. They do make those fruit ones that are like green and red and whatever. Oh, they can put yeah. a fruit salad. Yeah, okay. I do love those. Oh, yeah. Because it's not like super fruity, but not there's like, like a little hint of something. Yes. These just are, no. Well, in that they're sour is gonna be confusing. I don't love Swedish don't... fish to begin with. Oh, I love them. I think the reason I don't like them is because I don't like the texture because they're much harder than But do you like them. marshmallow no. texture? Okay, okay let's do stuff, Swedish so. fish first. We'll say that they're Swedish really, <laughs> these are actually no. really well constructed. Oh, there's an eyeball, Where? there's some glitter. Oh, oh there well is on the other side. Oh, they're very detailed. Are you guys gonna go heads or tails? Not the middle. in the middle, like John. Okay, well, here we go. It smells like a Swedish fish. No, no flip. Well, oh, uh, there it is. Oddly enough, it tastes I like a Swedish like it. fish. It's not that bad. It's, it's very subtle. But Swedish fish themselves are supposed to be kind yes. of like a licorice gummy, but they don't taste like licorice really. There's like a very mm -hmm. specific subtle taste. And this is just as subtle. It's actually not that bad. It tastes like glitter though. It's you know weird. what I mean? Like it's a little too grainy. I'm not familiar with the taste of glitter. Like the texture oh, is a little fun. Yeah. But, but as far as capturing an actual flavor and being true to the flavor it says it's supposed to be, this does a pretty good job. I think this might be my favorite so far. I don't want to agree, but it might be my favorite. I feel like we didn't necessarily enjoy the other ones in their full potential. potential. Right, 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 right. I don't like Okay, I I'm kind of nervous about the next one. Candy goes. I would say I am not a candy person normally, but sour oh, watermelon. SPK have always been my shit. The packaging. Okay. Does it always say kids? Yeah, kids. SPKs. They're sour patch kids. Sour patch kids. But they're not because they're the watermelon. I thought that's, it just that's said the sour brand. Patch watermelon. No, sour, sour patch, patch kids. kids is the watermelon. I thought sour patch was the brand. Sour patch kids. Sour patch SPKs. Kids. They don't have anything. I thought that was just like the other kind kids. when they're SPKs kids. SPKs has a wide variety of well, fruits. That I just like Mandela effect blew my mind. Anyway, yeah. This smells. So Amazing. Good. This smells like my childhood and adulthood. Cheers. I'm nervous. Oh, Ooh. wow. Ooh. On the tongue, you can feel oh, it. Oh, no. No. Ooh, I kind of like it. This it's is like, amazing. It's like eating the candy, but it's it doesn't get stuck hard. in your teeth. No. Lisa, are you okay? Are you going to have a cough attack? Oh, my God. Are you kidding? You it guys. It tastes like the candy. It's literally like this is a substitute for the candy if you like didn't want to chew as much. This is a superior food. I would have done this whole episode, this travesty of marshmallow, just to pin find this. Is it too sour for you, Lisa? Oh, I just hate the flavor. What? It this is, is just amazing. Like candy. Look, if they were just wow. regular Sour Patch Kids, I'd like them. I just don't like watermelon. Oh, well. It's, so it's gross. So do you not like Sour Patch Watermelon? No, I told you I only like the regular Sour Patch Kids. You guys want to hear something crazy? If you eat four pieces of this, oh, no. it's a hundred calories. That's it? I, five a piece? I mean, this is like the same amount of sugar as like if you ate a whole entire jar of tomato sauce. But these are absolutely freaking delicious. We made fun of them, but very I guess you like them. Yeah. These last ones, scary. I wouldn't have gotten. I think this is honestly why I, I had you on the episode. Oh! I think this reminded me that I wasn't going to get them. And I was like, oh, fuck. What reminds well, you of Jocelyn? Popcorn, it has to be. Oh. Uh, <gasps> Stop! Oh my you gosh, did show cute. me this one. Butter flavored? Um, I don't know. It's popcorn flavored. What does that mean? Okay, this butter is and salt. Something salty. Oh my gosh! Something smells 
so secret. It's just out of order. Maybe that was why I got them. Maybe I'll like these because I'm the weirdo that eats the popcorn jelly. That's what I was just going to say. Sweet pillowy marshmallows infused with all the hot butter. Hot. Hot buttery That's flavor? Good. Hot buttery flavor of your favorite salty snack. Get ready to pop till you drop. Oh my gosh, did my mom write this marketing when material? How do people eat this? Just, is the, the way that you consume this just I by just, eating it? Like, or like, do you not just pop marshmallows some kind? Because you, no. What? I don't want the one you just shoved up your nose. It is kind of cute, the way that it's constructed with- It looks like popcorn. The yellow and the white. It's like a little flower. It takes a second. You have to wait for the flavor to come to your mouth. It this takes is not good. It's weird because it almost has like the texture is reminiscent of like really styrofoamy popcorn. No, I know what you mean. Like old age yeah. popcorn. Yeah. Not a strong flavor though. I don't want butter on my marshmallow. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Oh. It's a little weird. Do you like it? I'm not bad. Oh, 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 when I swallowed it, I got all the flavor. Maybe yeah, that's what it is. It's like oh, three, no. maybe it's three regular marshmallows and the yellow one's the oh. one that's got all the stuff. That in. makes sense. Yeah. Oh my God. The people who will like this though, you're right, are the people who like the jelly bellies that are flavored like weird stuff like yeah. the throw up. The aftertaste not is like good. popcorn. No, no, it's not. I love popcorn. I'm not a fan of this. The no. only thing I would ever eat again from this whole show is this. No, I'm Amazing. Just popping these in the car. I eat these. These are freaking awesome. Product of Italy. And these are a product of Spain. Who knew marshmallows had such a big international following? Let us know if you've tried any of these, what you think. We would pick your favorite. Oh yeah, what's your favorite? See, I, I think it would probably be stuffed peppermint. Good choice. Oh! I think that wraps up today's episode. I'm a little offended that you guys didn't drink our hot chocolates. <laughs> Uh, let us know what I should bake with the stuffed puffs, if anything, and what other things we should try. Fry the crescent roll with the dip. Yes. Yeah. yeah that crescent roll episode. Yeah. Crescent roll episode. Cre you can put anything in a crescent roll and it makes it better. Set it and forget it. Actually, don't. Watch it really closely. Yeah, that sounds dangerous. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you. Today.